Hello and welcome back to Vambrace. We're heading into the unknown. Oh my god. Hopefully we're not gonna die. <sighs> Mortals. It seems that tra that traffic is busy in the entertainment district today. My name is Gerard. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Hands up! Where I can see them. You you can speak? There is no need for hostilities. I come in peace. A simple merchant of fine wares. How do you pass the frost fence? Can't trust the spook. <laughs> That's none of your concern. We're searching for someone now, and it's quite urgent. Ice Snare is a dangerous place for mortals and silver rates alike. You need allies here, but you won't get far with that attitude. Well, I can't just tell everybody. Well, how can I trust you? You're shot in the back! But allow me to extend an olive branch. I passed the woman today. Tall, dark, and brooding she was. <gasps> that sounds like our woman! Which way she did, did she go? Aha! Well, my generosity does have its limits. I would be willing to point you in the right direction. For a price. What do you want? I'm searching for something. Nothing important. Just a small golden company seal known as Oxe. Not the same seal Mari is looking for. My dear, you would stand to gain s much from uh, such a deal uh, with me. I merely seek your agreement to return the oxate to me, should you stumble upon it. What's what's your purpose? <clears throat> and why, pray tell, would a wraith need such a thing? Much like uh, my living counterparts, I'm still a merchant dealing with physical goods. No, death has not dampened my ambitions. However, with the authority of the seal, I could regulate trade amongst the braids. Hmm. I'm just gonna keep it vague. It's highly unlikely I'm going to stumble upon this oxe, but I'll let you know if I do. <clears throat> you need to learn a thing or two about doing business, girl. In any case, I saw your woman. She was heading north, toward the Ghost Bazaar. Coincidentally, I was heading this, the same way. Beware. The road there is not safe for the living. It, and in the bazaar, it's even more dangerous. I've heard the tale of the merchant, Manduk. Terrible thing. What happened? The King of Shades corrupted Manduk and turned her into a vengeful shade under his control. She was once an individual of great renown. Now her corrupted spirit is maddening the minds of the wraiths in her local area, though I do not know the full extent of the damage. We need to head out now. Maybe we'll see you at the Ghost Bazaar. Ah, go with the old mother, warm blood. <clears throat> oh, very friendly spirit. Oh. I guess we're progressing. Ooh! Uh, so this is our starting location. We don't exactly know where to go. I guess we're gonna go there. Oh, actually, that seems like this is the... No, no. There's no dead ends here. At least... They both leave somewhere. But we don't know which one is actually... Never mind that. I guess we're just gonna get in. What we have here? More ghosts. Keep a wary eye. <clears throat> You're approached by a ghostly, ghostly man with a friendly demeanor. He smiles and says, "Hello, friend. Could I trouble you for a moment?" Um. Oh, who will take action? Wow, I don't know. It, should I? Wow, I don't know. Make Tristan do it. 
He's dressed for action, right? Let's hear what he has. Let's hear what he has to say. I shouldn't talk to strangers. Uh, let's do it. Great! I've been looking for a good conversation. Would you like to hear a story? I mean, I thought it was Tristan. Great! I was. I've been looking for a conversation. Would you like to hear a story? After listening to him, you realize he would. He was just another lonely spirit wandering the streets of Eisner. You find his story and quick wit charming and feel your spirits lift. Error minus 30. Okay. So, random event. You don't know what, how it's gonna turn out. Deep crevice. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. Shit. Her, his fighting ability dropped because he stepped into a trap. Uh, we can go in here. Can I just open the map? Uh, is this? Each sector is filled with about ten street parts, paths. Checking the map on the field will show which street you're on. Your team must reach the sector exit to pro progress. Each street has at least one encounter event. The street's encounter icon will be displayed after you have discovered it. Interesting. You need to clear five sectors to reach the boss dungeon. The map is unavailable in areas Lyric has little information about. Okay. So, we didn't figure out what happened. Or did we figure out what happened here? There's something over there. It's, we kind of have a question mark. Oh. I, I guess someone who... We can bust it. Okay. So we got some wood. She opened it because she's the most skilled at it. Let's just take it all. We're just gonna take it all. Whoever is the most skilled opening it is the one who opens it. So this is just a storeroom. It's fine by me. But we just got some really crappy stuff. Oh my god. So that was a storeroom. We can go technically over there. Some very spooky frozen people here. Apparently there's still something over here. Let's do this. Oh, we got into a fight. Alright. So we got part, uh, different abilities. So Axis Stunt. We got... We got regular attacks. We don't know about people too much. Apparently we do. So this is kind of a slight indication of what they do. Rioter. So I suspect this guy uh, is gonna cause... Uh, vigil damage? Or it's gonna lower a vigil, somehow. And this security guard deals a lot of damage. Noble. I'm not sure how much damage we deal, though. So, this attack can target both of them. But we don't exactly know how much damage it's gonna deal. Unless we know. Is it gonna be two? It deals two damage. So, the combat stat is actually the amount of damage you deal. Flashbang. Deal two true damage to one long range target. That target receives stun status. Deal combat damage to one short range target. So, in a way, flashbang is just better. But maybe we can't use it all the time.
And of course, this is the the turn order. So what we have here, we can also use some abilities. Deal two true damage to all targets. That's stupidly good. Deal combat damage to one long range target. So this is the yeah important part is that true damage and combat damage, uh, two different things. So this spread shot will not scale. So if we ever got like 10 true damage, then that die will basically always be better in, in most scenarios. But right now, just dealing damage to... Wait. Yeah, we want spread shots. All the targets. Lyric is not acting. He's taking damage, but he's not very tanky. Okay. So this whole combat stat makes a lot more sense now. Let's see what Lyric can do. She can deal 4 true damage to 2 mid-range targets. Very, very juicy. Or combat damage to 1 long-range target. So Whirlwind is clearly the, the top choice for her. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna... Yeah. In a way, this was over-damaged. But this is still the way to go. Actually, we, this is the the special ability. It uses up our... our pff, I don't know what that is. But this, that is the special ability for sure. And then we uh, probably need to recharge it. But it's this still worth it. See what they do. Unfortunately, Tristan is taking some damage. And, uh... Yeah. One, two, three, four. Their three is gonna act next. Which is the Noble. And I don't think we can take it out. So we got some taunts. Which is... Deal one true damage to three long-range targets. And attract them to the caster. Oh, the target receives combat minus one for one turn. This is very interesting because you not only deal damage, but also you take less damage. So that's a good ability as well. It's a good way to protect the party. But in this scenario, I think we're just gonna ice this sucker. much we can do. I can only target one of them. Deal combat damage to one target, right? One short range target, actually. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Uh, the range changes because the first two guys died. Now the short range that targets the first two, these are the first two now. And uh, technically, I can hit the noble and and we gotta prevent the damage he's gonna deal. And it's gonna be a deadly kill. Unless... Well... A deadly hit. So that's handy. Now we're gonna act before the last sucker. We're just gonna go for like a regular shot. So this special ability also recharges. So you might as well start with that. Okay. We got some spectral dust out of it. Not too bad, although Tristan got hit pretty hard. Anything we should know about this area? So, maybe the event was that we fought. But is there any event that we missed out on over here? Because I thought I was pretty... Pearl. I don't think we missed out on anything. Uh... That talking was the only event here. Uh, the, yeah, it doesn't recharge automatically. Oh, we lost one Vigor. Oh, we probably lost the Vigor. This is from Darkest Dungeon. 
that we lost the vigor because we returned to the same place. At least that was a thing in Dark's Dungeon. So, it's one thing to keep in mind. Probably recharges in town, who knows. Oh no. No, we lost vigor again. So we can go up. But we can also go around. Halt! There's something here. Maybe we should just try to avoid fights, because Tristram is already pretty wounded. That's not great. Uh -oh. I don't know what we got. You can probably check it out. Deafened. Wow. Combat minus one. Combat minus one permanently. Broken bone. These, these effects are no, no jokes. Losing one combat is huge. Maybe we should rest though. Okay, let's just check these guys out. Pre, pre. You can just take less damage from them. Maybe we're just gonna shout on everybody. They take one true damage, all of them. And they have to target the guy now. Yeah. The question is, does he take one less damage from that person as well? Finishing blow. Puts guys a little forward. Uh, we only have one dead eye shot possibility. Spread shot is not great. And uh, dancer. Oh no. Their damage is reduced. Okay. I'm gonna hit the male survivor. So their damage is only reduced if uh, they get hit. And now we can go for just the regular hit, right? Long range target, so we can hit anybody. But we can only deal one damage, which is pathetic. How much damage you deal is certainly very important. I'm not sure what these guys do. Okay, maybe, maybe that was a boost. Can I check check them out? We don't know what kind of boost he got. Oh, he got a one combat boost for two turns. They both got it. He has two damage. He can only single target attack. Single target attack the male survivor. That's not great. The male survivor is fine for now. Oh, we can only... Okay, fine. We don't have much choice. Might as well finish him off. I don't know if I want to go for the true damage. Here. Yeah, we should be able to finish it off. Just kill them. Wait, what? Four damage? Oh yeah, Tristam already lost half his health. That's no joke. Also got some other debilitating effect. Apparently we gotta make a tactical choice about when to rest. Uh, it seems like now is the time. I'm not sure if you can uh, heal Broken Bone. Ow. 
How do we rest though? <gasps> Is this it? So we get into another fight. It's just horrendous. And at this point, I'm thinking maybe we should just try to head toward the exit ASAP. Oh, this this might be it. The rest? Oh yeah. Lyric will occasionally gain points that can be used to boost perk of your choice on this page. Wow, really? Choose carefully. Once you make a decision, there's no going back. Um, points left zero. <laughs> uh, so we're not gonna check that out. But how do we sleep, though? Is there a... Well, that's the retreat. Let's go home, isn't it? I find it unlikely that that would be the rest rest menu. Hmm. But I'm not really finding it. It's definitely not the perk. So somehow, it should be obvious. Okay, this is the first thing that's not obvious about this game. Is that how do we rest? Or can we rest now? Or I don't think we can rest now. Maybe I, I never I didn't bring the things that make it possible to rest. What is R? Okay. Apparently we can't really rummage through the bag. Maybe you actually rest by clicking on a campfire? That would be this would be really good to know. At any rate, apparently resting is the key part of this game. But if I don't know how to do it, uh, then we got a problem. Maybe the game's gonna ask. Oh, that's quitting the game. Okay, we're not doing that. So that's quitting the game, that's going back to town, and that's options. Uh oh. Spectro Goat. Not sure how to rest though. Full of consent. It wouldn't surprise me if he had to find. Well, there was only one way to. Yeah, I, I don't know if he need to buy a campfire. Tough call. I don't know. <laughs> Business is booming in this frozen waste. Wait, what? Oh! Can I buy a campfire? Letter courier us. Oh, can I just sell one of my crap? Wait, that's what he's selling. What if I can just flip it around? Are you willing to buy what I got? He's not really giving me a lot. A lot of money for this. So that's third and round. What do you got? Usable while camping. If we can eat these while camping to restore our health. But it's kind of expensive. Oh, leather gauntlets? Ooh, increases our your combat and your health, but lowers the awareness. Uh, that seems like a good choice. Merchantry lowered. But, you know, you can... you can min-max it. But at this point, we should probably focus more on... on actually not losing the game. Maybe I'm just gonna sell these. Although, it's also true that having the combat 1 thingy would help me fight. We can give it to the guy in the front, or who knows. Basically, anyone can use that. 
with good effects. So we buy that. Maybe we buy... It doesn't seem like a good deal. Cures fractured and sprained. What do we need though? Because we got some issues. Deafened, fractured. So we can't... Cure fractured if I can figure out how to rest. Somehow. Oh yeah, uh, give that thing it to someone. E, maybe Maya. Oh, I can't give it to people. Oh, interesting. So it's not possible to give it to her right now. Very odd. How do we sleep though? Anyway, uh, it's a good time to take a break. It's kind of like half into the adventure, and we're kind of trying to figure out how to uh, sleep. Hmm, good question. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.